when it comes to banging my difficult woman drum, I increasingly don't care who it offends. I used to be a feminine basher in my 20s, thinking if I told guys I thought the whole movement was ghastly, I'd be all the more popular. Well, only makes you more popular with the sort of guys your mum doesn't want round to tea. But there's an equally awful other force too, the modern-day metro male feminist. Can't we all just agree? Men and women are rarely equal, and a lot of the stuff throughout history that recognised these biological differences was actually good. It's time for the Alex Agenda. Oh, gosh, Boris wading into feminism is like watching Kurt Zuma becoming a spokesman for the RSPCA. The father of Lord knows how many love children, who changes his mistress more often than most of us get a haircut, even used that horrific phrase, toxic masculinity, claiming Putin wouldn't have waged a macho war if he was a fine and gentle filly. Like all clumsy attempts of men donning the cringy I'm a feminist t-shirt, it backfired. Surely the queen of the British Iceni Boudicca might have something to say about his Edwardian opinions. Or Elizabeth I with her heart and stomach of a king. Even his heroine, Margaret Thatcher, would be right to roll her eyes. But not all women leaders are the good uns either. Bloody Mary I went about burning people at the stake, essentially committing mass genocide, something once lefty pinup Aung San Suu Kyi might know a bit about. Now, when it does come to feminism, it's action, not words, that count. And sadly, all the posturing does not seem to be making anything any better. The horrific murder of Zara Alina, repeatedly beaten around the head by a stranger, is yet another incident of a woman in London being savagely attacked by a man. And before I hear the wails of but men are often the victims of violence crimes, this is a different sort of gruesome attack that leaves all women scared and vulnerable just going about their business. And it's time, I think, policy reflected that. Look, streets are never going to be safe. And so late night transport should be offered at reduced fares to women. I don't care if it sounds old fashioned and I don't care if it's not politically correct. What I care about is if it keeps women safe.